Hey guys, what's going down? Welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte. And my name is Jared. So if you didn't see Donald Trump's interview on 60 Minutes, he was asked to revisit the promises he had made during his election campaign. Most importantly, is he actually going to deport illegal immigrants like he said he would? Well, according to Trump, he's immediately going to deport every illegal immigrant with a criminal record, gang members, and drug dealers. According to the US government, that's around 1.9 million people. He said he was either going to get these people out of the country or incarcerate them which means they can either get out or go to jail. Which honestly isn't the worst idea. I mean, if these people are in the country illegally and causing trouble, why wouldn't you want to get rid of them? However, some people do have legitimate paperwork and have immigrated to the US legally, and they have green cards, but have committed crimes that make them removable criminal aliens. If someone with a green card committed a crime of moral turpitude, it means they can be deported. A crime of moral turpitude includes anything from fraud to theft to larceny to intent to harm others. There's actually a lot. There are so many different crimes that can be considered crimes of moral turpitude that you actually have to go see a criminal or immigration lawyer to find out if a conviction is considered a crime of moral turpitude. I do have several questions that maybe you guys have too. The most important of them being, where is the line drawn? What constitutes as a bad enough criminal? And what if these criminals already served their sentences? What if they were wrongfully convicted? What about criminals who were charged with minor drug offenses in places where marijuana is now legal? Do they get deported too? Is he saying that basically every illegal immigrant who's ever had a criminal record in the United States now has to leave or be put in jail? even though they've already served their time. I guess he is saying that. And I feel like a lot of these people won't want to get out of the country. More than half of the people who are living in America legally are from Mexico. This might mean great things for the prison industry in America. Many prisons are actually privately owned in the states. Prison is a business. The US already has the most people in jail than anywhere else on earth. There are 2.2 million people in American prisons already. New prisons will have to be built for these people. So that's that's great. That's really that's where the money should go is prisons and the wall of course. According to the 13th amendment Prison labor is legal, which in a lot of ways is basically slavery. The 13th Amendment states, Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for a crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. If you haven't seen the documentary 13th, you definitely should. It's on Netflix and it will blow your mind. Donald Trump said that once the border is secure with the wall that he still intends on building, not sure why, the Bureau of Immigration and Customs Enforcement will assess the status of any remaining undocumented immigrants. What Donald Trump is suggesting would put every unauthorized immigrant in the US under a 1 in 4 chance of being separated from their family, thrown in jail, or sent back to their home country. So guys, what do we think about this? Do you think every illegal immigrant that's been convicted of a crime should be kicked out of the country? Or do you think it would be possible for Trump to even do this? You gotta let us know in the comments right down below. Speaking of comments, it's time to reply to some of yours. G Palace said, I got Charlotte's nudes. Yo, send those, bro. You don't. <laughs> Sorry. That's why I said that. I, you don't have my nudes. Only I have those. I've never taken nudes. Then whose nudes do I have? I don't know, Jared. Whose nudes do you have? <laughs> Tess Record said, You guys are refreshing from the norm media. Thank you for your hard work. XO. Excel. Well, we try to be as biased as possible, just like Fox News. Mm -hmm. So we really hope that you guys. <laughs> can't say it seriously. It's <laughs> like it. Penny Taylor said, "I love IO. It always cheers me up." Well, you cheered me up with that's, that comment. That's such a nice thing to say. That's Thanks. Very Penny. nice. Thank have you. Have a great day. Man, Deep Sangar said, "What is the last thing you will do if the world is going to end?" I will eat all the chocolate. That's a mm, good question. That's a good question. I think I would just tell my family I love them. Yeah, and I want to have like an epic dance party with everyone I know. Like one last music festival, you know? I think I'd also want to punch somebody in the face. Yeah, that'd be fun. I've never done that before. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I actually punch somebody though. Okay, if it's the end of the world, you can punch me in the face and I can I punch you in the face? I don't know if he'll still be uh, awake after I punch you, but sure. Okay, well then I'll punch you first. <laughs> I don't know if I'll still be awake. <laughs> last comment comes from Epic Desire. How come after every video you slam the door on us? It's so true. There's a Dude. door slam noise at the end of every video. It's, like, a, it's more like a, like a boom. Like it's not like a. No, it sounds like a door slam. Is it's is like, here's what we have to say. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know. Would you, would you just like close the garage? Like, bye guys. <laughs> close the garage down. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Yeah. All right, guys. See you later.